I'm Gareth Sapstead here with Mirafit and here are your top 10 home gym hacks. Using one of these for wrist rollers is a really great option for working your wrist extensors and forearms. But if you don't have access to one of these, then give this a go. So all I've got here is my bar set up on my rack about chest height. I'm gonna grab a resistance band, loop it over and through. Make sure that's nice and tight. And then I'm just gonna grab a dumbbell. I'm using 10 kgs here and just link it through the bottom. So making sure this is nice and tight, we've then got our wrist roller. So from there, elbows just slightly soft and completely straight. And we're just gonna slowly ravel up until it catches, ravel up that resistance band all the way to the top. So really hitting our wrist extensors here and forearms. Once we get to the top, we control all the way back down to the bottom. So give that one a go if you really want to nail your forearms. A split squat stand like this is a complete game changer for your rear foot elevated split squats and really optimizing your positioning and comfort whilst doing them. But if you don't have access to a split squat stand like this, then give this a shot. So all I've got here is the bar in my rack set to about the same height as I would do with a split squat stand. So for me, what's most comfortable is kind of about shin height or mid shin height. And I've got that bar in a position where it's not really gonna move too much. What you can do if your bar's rolling around a little bit, you can use a couple of resistance bands just to lock it in place, but I don't feel I need that one today. So we've got our bar set in the rack. We've got a bar pad on that as well. So that almost creates our split squat stand. So we can go straight into our split squats from there, we start in that bottom position. And as you can see, once I grab my dumbbells, it's a nice, comfortable position where I can do one of probably the most hated exercises in the world. Give that one a shot. Squats are a gym favorite for working your quads, but what if you're at home and you don't have access to a hack squat machine? Well, give this a try and all you're gonna need is a foam roller. So use your smooth foam roller, not one of those bobbly ones, just to place behind your lower back against the wall. What I'm gonna do then is just sit down and then grab my dumbbells, obviously choose the weight that's gonna work best for you. It'll take just a second to get in position, adjust that foot position, feet facing forwards, and then pushing back against that foam roller against the wall and as you can see I can get a nice deep position that almost resembles a hack squat. If you want to blast your quads this is a good one. This one's a game changer. Quickest way to unload the bar without breaking your back. Small plate, roll it underneath, throw it on, slide off your first one, Throw off your second one, stand up. Done, obviously put your plates back. If you use heavy barbell hip thrusts but can never find the right position with your feet every time to really feel it in your glutes, then here's a really quick trick. All I'm gonna do is find the position where I'm gonna feel it in my glutes the most, by doing it alone without the bar to start off with. So just body weight alone, I'm gonna to get to the top of there where I'm in that peak contracted position and I'm just looking for where my shins are vertical. So my hamstrings aren't too active there and it's all glutes. Once I've found where my feet feel good, I'm just gonna drop myself down and I'm just gonna use a marker like a water bottle here, okay? Or a protein shaker. I've got my marker, all I need to then do is roll that bar on, find that same position, when my heels are level with that bottle and I know that every time I'm in that consistent foot position where I can really feel it in my glutes. If you don't have a seated row like this one, then give this hack a try. I'm sat on the floor here in front of my rack. If you don't have a rack, it's not a problem as long as you've got some kind of sturdy object. I've linked my resistance band around that. You can adjust the resistance of the band depending on how strong you are at this. And I've actually just put a plate in front of this to make sure that I'm far enough away as well. You might not need that. So I've got my resistance band, I've got a carabiner here, and I've got my row attachment. I'm sat in my upright position there 
and I can really nail my middle back exactly as though I was doing a cable row, especially in that range right there where I'm touching my chest because the resistance of that band increases. Another great hack to give a go. The limited space loaded carry. If you don't have a lot of space in your gym or garage gym, then here's one for you. All I've got is a resistance band set to about hip height in my rack. If you don't have a rack, then any sturdy object will do. All I'm gonna do is walk out and grab either dumbbells, sandbag, whatever you want, you can do these loaded carries with. I'm gonna grab my strongman bag. Get into a zercher position here. I'm just gonna march on the spot with that band pulling me from behind. It's a really good exercise to condition you and it's a real lung burner. If you wanna get some extra range of motion with your bent over rows, have you ever thought about using your gymnastic rings? So all I've got here is my gymnastic rings on my bar, just about level with the end of that knurling, that part of the bar that's got some grip. And all I'm gonna do there is stand up, get to my set position, hinge my hips back, stick my butt out. And as you can see, as I row, I'm able to really get deep into that range of motion, hitting that peak contraction in my back. This might look a little bit funky, but give this a go if you're looking for a way to do belt squats with very limited equipment. All I've got here is my lifting belt. I've looped a resistance band all the way over this is quite a heavy one here, as you can see it's already putting me down. And then I've kind of struggled to put it underneath my feet. Once you've got it there, then it's super comfortable. And all I need to do now, just like a normal belt squat, just get those reps in. It's a really good exercise, almost more of that metabolic stress, something to finish your workout with. Also a really good lung burner if you want to do it for more conditioning purposes. Give that one a shot. If you want to get into strongman style conditioning but don't have any atlas stones then this one's a really good idea. All I've got is my bar set to about armpit height or a little bit lower. You can also adjust it high if you want the extra challenge and then on the floor here I've got a, a dead ball or a sand ball. You can use a sandbag. It really doesn't matter and what I'm going to do is just drop myself down, pick up that ball. It's almost like a zercher position. You can also have it high, throw it over that bar, get underneath and then repeat. So it's a really good one for sets of 60 seconds on, 60 seconds off if you want to use it as a fat loss conditioning workout, or you can go a little bit heavier and do kind of shorter intervals and longer rest intervals. Give that one a shot and let us know how you get along. <laughs>